Okay, exciting news. So today is the first tutorial on how to use Orca with Avogadro. So we're not going to get to actual calculations. Um, so like the description of where everything is in the input and the output, that's going to be the next one. But I'll show you where to get all the files and how to make them all work together. The first thing we have to do is get the software. So if you go onto the Orca um, main web page, you will see here on the top in the menu, you have the Orca um, forum. And that's where all the files are. So you also have download, but you need to register to get onto the forum because uh, that's where all the, the binaries are. And we need um, permission to do that. So if once you have registered, you can just log in to the um, forum and then you go into downloads, which is the last part here. And then you click on binaries version, the latest version, and you install the one that corresponds to your operating system. For me, it was Windows, for you can be other things. All right. Now, uh, let's take one step back. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you have Avogadro with extended Orca support. If you try to find this version of Avogadro on their website, it's not going to be there. So that's why you kind of need to register for the forum because if you want to get an Avogadro working with Orca, you need this specific version. For me, it's Windows again. Uh, they have Mac OS also. Um, and I don't think that they have Linux yet. Maybe coming um, in the next uh, month, but I'm not sure. So once you have downloaded all of this for Avogadro, the installer is just a wizard. It's very simple. For Orca, it, you get a zipped file. So you just have to unzip it and save it wherever you want to save it. So I unzipped everything um, and saved it into this folder over here. So it's in my C drive. Inside it, it looks like this. So you have all of the different plugins and they're all connected to Orca XE, which is like the main uh, big guy that uh, operates all of the little programs um, and connects them all together. Now, Orca doesn't have an interface like Gaussian did, so you need to run it from um, the command line. How do you do that? For Windows, you click on the start button or this little window button. And if you have Windows 10, then you can go ahead and click on command prompt right away. Uh, or you can click on run. This goes for all Windows. Click on run and then you type CMD, which stands for command line. You click on OK. And then you have the command line um, available to you. So it's the same thing as, as like clicking around icons, except that instead of seeing where the folders are as a pretty picture, and you have it as text, which is much less uh, beautiful, but it works just the same. Um, so when you open it the first time, um, you are automatically put into your personal account. And so now we can navigate into the Orca um, folder, for example. So to go from folder to folder, you can uh, write the command change directory, cd, space, and the place where you want to go. If you want to go somewhere down. So, for example, from my general account, I want to go to my desktop. It goes as follows. Now, if I want to go further down, I created like an Orca calculation folder. I'll write CD, Orca, Docs, Enter. But now if I want to go back to desktop, I just write CD, two periods, Enter, and I'm back to desktop. 
right? Um, you don't have to rewrite all of whatever you typed before. You can just click the up uh, arrow and your command appears. Now, if you want to see what is listed in the, in the folder that you have, you, you, you type dir for directory and it lists all the stuff that you have in there. Okay, so you can just create a folder uh, on your desktop, for example, or wherever you're comfortable with um, for your Orca calculation. So I sort of made like Orca docs and now I have an input in there and I would want to write run Orca on this input. So how do I do that? Um, I need to tell Windows which program to use. So for this, there are several ways. The easiest, well, the, the trivial one is to write the full path to Orca. So I write C colon backslash Orca. Orca. So this is the full path to the executable and the last Orca is the executable. Then I hit space and then I can write the um, file of my input, so co2.imp, channeled into co2.out. Alright, so notice that the input file is in the directory that I'm currently in. I'm in orca docs and this is where my input is and this is where my output will be also. Okay, now I just click on uh, enter and you will notice that there is a million temporary files appearing over here. But it's all right, by the end of the calculation, you will only have six, which is still kind of a lot, but we'll see well why you need them. So uh, when the calculation is done, you get back your command line with the flashy underscore, it means that I'm ready for new operations. Um, and here, if we update, you'll see that you only have uh, the important, say, files left. So, now, um, for example, if I don't want to write every time the full path to Orca, what can I do? You can set, like, a shortcut. Um, for this, you have to go into um, System. So, it's through Control Panel. Control Panel, System and Security System, and then you click on Advanced System Settings. You go to the bottom, it says Environment Variables, click on that. And then you have, like, the top is for users, uh, so only for me, and the bottom one is for all the users of the computer. I'm alone on my computer, so for me it's kind of the same thing, but um, I still will just change the path in my own account. So you click on path over here, you click on edit, and then you can add the Orca path in the end um, in the variable value. Uh, so if you have other stuff in there, uh, you have to f basically um, put a semicolon between the different paths and then you can add the new one. When you're sure that the path is correct, you just click OK, 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 and you can close all of this. And now I can write, instead of this long input, I can simply write Orca. See the difference? And it will still work exactly the same way. Okay, so um, now the output that we got, we can open it with the new special Avogadro. Um, and this can be done just by dragging um, the output into an Avogadro window. So, this is the output of our OWL calculation. All right, so it's kind of a lot of information and I don't want to make this tutorial too long. So um, I'll finish here and um, the next tutorial I'll show you how to create an input file, how to um, understand the output and um, I'll see you next time.